So today I'm going healthy, starting with my zesty chicken meatballs, full of herbs, lemon zest, garlic, and a few other special ingredients. What these babies lack in fat, they more than make up for in flavor. All right, so my fresh thyme and oregano. All right, into the bowl, I've also got a uh, egg in there and a couple of garlic cloves just minced up really good and good to go. Now I wanna add some more things into the play here. Now when I'm talking about being healthy, there are some really good options for you at the grocery store, like say, instead of just regular breadcrumbs, how about whole wheat breadcrumbs? Brown sugar is gonna be great here. It's gonna add just a little tiny note of sweet to our chicken meatballs. Won't even be able to tell it's brown sugar. You'll just know something's going on there. And to that, some really good, rich, deep flavor with our Worcestershire sauce here. A few shakes in. So here we go. Some spices going in. A Little bit of onion powder. And no onions, only because, you know, I really want a really juicy meatball. I don't want it to be like chunky, you know, a lot of things going on in there. And so onion powder is perfect and some Hungarian hot paprika. So this is what I'm going to uh, base the flavor for my little meatballs. The only thing I really have to get into play here is my lemon zest. Now the reason I'm mixing it all up before is because a real good trick to having some juicy chicken meatballs because we're dealing with a lean meat is you don't want to overwork it. And a lot of times if you put the chicken in and then you just start piling on all the flavor and ingredients, you know, to get it all mixed in evenly, you might have to overwork the uh, ground meat. So I want to save myself that little hassle and mix everything in beforehand. All right, just get the zest of your lemon off. This is a great trick for your tongue too. I mean, I do call them zesty chicken meatballs, but the good thing about the essential oils and the lemon is it's just gonna add an extra, a lively zip to your chicken. All right, so here we go with the uh, yummy flavor of our chicken meatballs. Gotta get my chicken in really quick. So go ahead, carve out some space for them in my bowl. Get that in there, come on out. I'm not touching you. <laughs> Into the trash, and then what I wanna do now is get ready to make the meatballs. And that's all about getting my station good to go. So I've got my tray here. Bring this forward, and I'm gonna mix it up really quick. Now, like I said, don't overmix. Now let me show you how to make the meatballs. Get this little here for you. And I'm gonna show you the size we're going for here. We don't wanna make big gargantuan, I'm gonna make meat good meatballs, meatballs. Just kind of like the size, a little bit smaller than a golf ball. Right there, it's gonna be a little bit moist. Don't worry about it. Yummy, turn it up. That's what you're going for. The brown sugar in there, remember, it's gonna help you get some nice caramelization on your meatballs. Got our fresh herbs, the oregano and the thyme, and I love garlic. I know you might be saying, well, where's the heat, Sonny? the Hungarian hot paprika. Snuck that one in on him. <laughs> All right, here we go. These are going to be so beautiful and perfect and yummy and juicy.